Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to see how we can download and extract uh, metadata of certain publications that are attached to certain keywords or affiliations from the Scopus database, which is a scientific database for peer-reviewed publications. Uh, first, we'll log into the Scopus. It's scopus.com. I will put the link uh, in the description box. Uh, my address uh, is because of my affiliation, so I'm already logged in with my affiliation, which is the University of Luxembourg. Now what we do is that we look at the search engine, so we can search for documents, we can search for certain uh, scientists or researchers uh, which are authors of the publications, uh, affiliations or the institute, and here we is where we type uh, our keywords or the name of the scientist that we're looking for. And here is very important because you have several possibilities to search uh, and filter out your publications. Uh, so whatever I write here, uh, it will be, uh, the, the search engine will go and search for that specific keyword in the title and abstract and keywords, the, the three of them. And uh, when, it's, when it finds the, for example, keyword BIM in, uh, these three, in either of these three sections, uh, a publication will pop up for me. Uh, other possibilities is to, for example, just search in the title abstract, just search in the uh, sorry, just search in the scientific uh, in the papers title, just search in the abstract, just search for keyword, and you can also uh, search for a specific DOI. You can search for a specific, for example, funding agency. Oops, here uh, today we just search for title abstract and keyword. What I'm going to use uh, are some keywords that are related to my work and I am also interested to see what publications will pop up because uh, yeah it's quite new so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm interested in a publication related to uh, BIM so I write BIM usually I don't do this because uh, when I write uh, BIM uh, for example, BIM uh, is, a sh uh, is acronym for Building Information Modeling, which is an engineering firm, term. But uh, what happens is that, uh, uh, from my experience, I know that BIM is also a technical for, uh, word in biology. Uh, that's why I usually write Building Information Modeling. Uh, this is uh, kind of uh, a little bit tricky. So again, based on my experience, I know that the, the in, in British English, you write modeling with double L and then you write mo uh, modeling in American English with one L. So here I prefer to just cut it to building information model. And the reason that I'm putting it in the double uh, quotation here and here is because if I don't do this, what we see is that the, the search engine go, goes and search for building and information and model, uh, not necessarily in the same order that I'm writing here. What I'm writing is a specific phrase, and if you're searching for a phrase, you should put it in double uh, quotations. Uh, otherwise, you will, for example, just uh, look at every publication that has the word model in title, abstract, and keyword. That's why uh, you have to use uh, double quotations. So the next thing is that I'm not interested in only this. I will write or, and then again, double quotation, I write BIM. What I'm doing right now is that I'm saying to the search engine, go search for the phrase building information model or for the phrase BIM or for the phrase construction industry. Why I'm writing construction industry? That's again based on experience. So I, what I'm doing is that if I, uh, I, I'm asking the search engine to go and search for the construction industry fully in, a, in search engine. And uh, whenever either the phrase building information modeling and construction industry is a present in a keyword or in the keywords abstract or the title section of a publication, the publication will show up in the next step for me. Why I'm not writing only construction? Again, ba it's based on experience. Uh, when I write when I write construction, uh, it does not necessarily mean construction industry or construction phase of a construction project. What happens is that, uh, for example, um, 
it the, the search engine goes and uh, look for any construction word. Uh, for example, the construction can be used in a in a sentence like um, this: a specific molecule is necessary in the construction of this muscle. So, construction here is not referring to a building project; it's referring to creating or constructing something. That's why you should be careful on how you select your keywords in the first place. For now, I, I, I am interested to also add maybe a construction project. Let's see how what happens. Okay. Uh, where I will copy this. Okay. So now here we have this plus sign. We sign it twice plus. Uh, another row is added for us here. Again, we can choose different a uh, different let's say filters. And if you're interested to just see the word in any possible way in any publication, you set it to all fields. But right now, I'm not interested in that. The next word that I am looking for is blockchain. So and and or are boolean uh, 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 boolean features. Well, let's say boolean gates. It's better as features. Uh, and what happens is that I'm I, I'm asking for a publication that has either of any of these words as well as blockchain. So blockchain must be there, and it could be blockchain and building information model, blockchain and BIM, blockchain and construction industry, or blockchain and all of these phrases in the first row. Uh, there is no space between blockchain, block and chain, so. I leave it without any quotation mark. Uh, you can again limit it to many things. You can link, limit it to all the years published. I will set it to 2010. However, I'm sure that there is no publication be before 2010 because blockchain, the first paper ever written is uh, from 2008. So it's impossible to, to have this word before. 2010 or 2008, let's see. Mm, yes, I will. Uh, I will set it to everything, all types, and I will search. Okay, so I have 51 documents or 51 publications. As you can see, blockchain construction, and for example, I I hit on this one, and you can see again co exactly construction industry, blockchain, blockchain, blockchain construction industry. I go back. I randomly choose one, for example, this one. Oh, you can see here on the title is blockchain beam. Um, yes, it's a bit slow in opening up, but we will just, yeah. So what we do now is that, again, if you're interested, you can uh, limit it to certain language, source type. The source here means uh, the it's journal, it's conference, it's book, a country. Again, funding agencies, and yeah, you can limit it to only see what is published this year, 2020, and yeah, open access or not. So we want to now download this information. What we do is we hit all, and then you go to export, and here you have the method of export. It's Mendeley uh, for the Mendeley. Um, software which is to uh, record your uh, resources uh, I, I'm interested in BibTeX so BibTeX uh, I'm interested in BibTeX because later I'm going to use the Bibliometrics package which is compatible with the BibTeX uh, format what I'm interested in is in fact author document title year year everything also this one because I'm interested to see the affiliations. Uh, yes, I want abstract and keywords. Keywords for keyword analysis that we will see in the future videos. Abstract could be tricky. If you have a couple of thousands of papers, because the keywords that I search now are very new keywords. These technologies and methodologies didn't exist bef before maybe 2000 or let's say 1990, so they are not very well established, or let's say especially blockchain. Uh, 
very well established. I mean, it's not very well established blockchain in the construction industry, and there are not much scientific article about it. Not that they are not well established overall, but maybe if your uh, keyword is only building, you will see that there are a couple of thousands of papers that have building in their abstract and title and keyword. Uh, and if you have a lot of document, you don't need abstract for that. You can just select keywords because uh, you need abstract for text mining and if you have a couple of thousand I think you don't need all of this information to be written in deep text for you it could take a lot of time for the processing uh, I don't need anything else here Calvit expert yes here we will see that uh, it's dot bit it means deep text and we have all the information later I show you what what exists inside this information inside this file uh, another thing that I can tell you which could be interested for some maybe PhD students is that if you have Zotero for example on and if you open the file you will see that Zotero asks you if you want to import all these Cryptopon publications inside your uh, Zotero and this is something cool now I don't want it I said cancel and I close it and in the next video, I will show you how to do the exact same thing with Web of Science. And later, we will see how we can combine this information and assort a scientometric and bibliometric analysis for literature review. I hope it helped you and see you soon in the next video. Thank you.